Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart and uh, today I've got a video of one of our recent builds. This is not really a tiny house, this is more along the lines of what I would consider a park model. Um, this unit is 12 feet wide and 30 feet long. It is built permanently on a three axle trailer <clears throat> and uh, still has standard hookups kind of like an RV like we do in most of the tiny houses but uh, just a little bigger. and. Um, if you're looking at the pop up there where we've got the loft, uh, this unit's a little taller than normal as well. Um, but whenever we have to permit for width, we usually go ahead and get all the height we can on that same permit, which is uh, right at 15 feet. But anyway, you can see there on the front, we've got uh, one of the little mini split heat and air systems mounted. That's the exterior part, uh, eight inch lap siding. Anyway, we'll go inside here and give you a look around uh, this unit's got two of these nine light three foot entry doors we've got one on each side all right and again this is 12 foot wide and a total of 30 foot long so a little bigger than the typical tiny house but uh anyway you can see here a shot of the living area that 12 foot width really makes a difference <clears throat> there you can see the interior part of the mini split system We've got a seven foot tall ceiling here in this area under the loft. Uh, it's got our three quarter inch pine tongue and groove walls, ceiling. We got a cherry hardwood laminate flooring. As you can see, there's enough room in here for to have a little pull out sleeper sofa there if needed. And give you a little shot here. That little bar area, of course, those chairs are turned around backwards, but this bar actually has a bed on the back side of it this is a has a slide out bed and that's the reason that as you can see the steps going up into the kitchen and bathroom area are actually elevated and that's to allow this bar to slide out and i'm not going to pull it all the way out there's not actually a bed in there right now it's just some storage um, but you can see kind of a shot down in there a little bed frame area this is a queen size bed by the way and then you can see we've got some more storage shelf storage there behind that once that's pulled out a little bit of storage there shelf storage above the the bar area as well anyway uh, we'll go up here into the kitchen here and give you a shot we've got a little bit of room here that could utilize a small table if needed a little two-person table to eat at corner shelf um, kitchen area we've got oak base cabinets got some pine upper cabinets custom built We've got a double basin stainless steel sink. Um, we'll get, usually have a little two burner cooktop sitting there next to that coffee pot. Some open shelf storage and then some cupboards above that. Microwave, a uh, large toaster convection oven. Countertop makes an L shape. And uh, there's a shot back looking back into the living area. And we've got a 10 cubic foot top mount freezer. Refrigerator is pretty good size fridge set of steps going into the loft area and again this is a little larger loft than normal pretty good size loft we've got a 20 slider one on each side uh, fans kind of in the way sorry about that but you can see the height you can see that tv sitting on that little table and then there's full-size chair sitting there so got quite a little bit of room in this loft and followed through with our cherry hardwood laminate up here as well you can see some storage down that far end with another little window to let some light in uh, coming back around we've got a pocket door here going into our bath and bathroom is pretty good size we've got a full size five foot long standard tub shower combo unit full size toilet uh, two foot wide sink and vanity we do have a, a 2030 window in the bathroom Got another set of lights over a mirrored medicine cabinet there. Quite a bit of storage in this bathroom. <clears throat> there you can see one of the washer dryer combo units. And of course, quite a bit of storage behind doors as well as open storage. Uh, this long tall storage, or excuse me, skinny tall storage area here does have a, a hanging clothes rod in it for some clothes storage there as well. Um, anyway, uh, here's a shot of the uh, the little house, the little park model that is uh, called the Boverly House. Boverly House. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.
Thanks for watching.